Welcome back to Bullet Catcher Gaming, the place to be for the community to have their voice on what they would like to see in the next game. Today we're looking at weapons, and in the background you're going to see 20 different weapons going round and round in circles. Those 20 weapons are weapons that you guys and girls already voted for on this channel multiple times. So how we put this 20 together to start with was there was what weapons you'd like to see created that was for in breakpoint or in the future um, from surveys and also from um, what you wanted to see in future game. Um, I think it was also like year three, stuff like that. So anything that wasn't in breakpoint that you wanted to see in the future. So we I've spent hours going through this, putting them all together, and here's the top 20. Now, the reason why I'm showing the top 20 is because I want to ask you guys and girls a question, and I'm going to do a follow-up video based off of that. Now, that question is, what weapons would you like to see in the next game? And we're talking about mainly primary sidearms, so in, you know, incorporating your DMR, snipers, all the rest of it, assault rifles, everything like that. So we're showing you the top 20 so you don't keep bringing them up over and over again because obviously lots of people have already voted on these. So what we want to see you do is we want to see you comment as much as possible. You can give us a long list, you can give us one, you can give us whatever you like, but comment and what we're going to do is do a follow-up video about weapons that you would like to see added into the next game. Now just outside this 20 there were plenty of Russian weapons um, things like that, the MRAD, oh, loads of cool stuff, um, but it didn't fall within the top 20. I'm just showing the top 20 right now. So let's go through it. The first one was the Terran Tactical AR-15, obviously famous for being in John Wick 2. It's an amazing assault rifle. It looks beautiful. That was one that you voted for. And really importantly, and this was in the probably top three, the SIG MCX Spear, obviously part of the next generation of uh, weapons. Um, and along with that was also the um, LMG, you know, like the 6.8 that they're using. That's also pretty nice because there's not enough LMGs where well, there wasn't in Breakpoint for sure. Um, there was, I think there was a few more in Wildlands, but we'd, you know, we'd like to see a few more. Um, the Scar L, another really popular one that people wanted over and over again for obvious reasons, to be honest. Um, the R5 RGP, obviously that was in Wildlands. We didn't get it in Breakpoint. Um, I know it's quite a popular one in Call of Duty. Uh, a lot of people like that. Not comparing the games, but you know, you, you do get people comment saying, you know, that Call of Duty's got this and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, why haven't we got that? And so I do understand um, what people are saying. Obviously, people play a lot more than just the one game. Um, another really popular one, um, the Noveski M4, the Gen 4 version, um, obviously used by um, US Special Forces. It's beautiful, um, absolutely gorgeous. And you're probably already noticing that a lot of these weapons are based on the M4 platform. But, you know, that's not our choice. This is weapons that, that obviously you asked for. Um, another really popular one that they messed up in Breakpoint big time, um, the Mark 18 Daniel Defense. You know, they gave us that Mark 18 finally in Breakpoint, and it was just like a reskin of the 516. It was not a Mark 18. I thought the damage was too low on it as well, but... It's, it, don't get me wrong, it was okay, but it was not what we want. We want that Daniel Defense, um, you know, SOCOM version. The Mark 13 Mod 5 is a gorgeous weapon, nice sniper rifle. Um, we, You know, more snipers are good. People are really into their sniping, so that would be a nice addition. A nice classic here, the M240 Bravo. Another LMG, as I said, maybe not enough of them. Probably could do with a bit of reworking in terms of you know, some of them, the kick on some of them was just crazy, which obviously you would expect to a certain point, but it was just a bit over the top. Um, the M200 Intervention, another Call of Duty weapon that was well, probably popularised by Call of Duty all the way back in sort of modern, the original Modern Warfare 2. Um, really nice um, sniper rifle. 
and another sniper rifle, the M24 SWS. Um, loads of people asked for that one when we did one previously. And then we go into another classic weapon, which one of the admins on our Discord would literally lose his mind if we got this, and that is the M16A4. Now, obviously, we're not here to talk about Gunsmith. We're going to do a, a, another video about Gunsmith and, and how it can be improved. Um, but I will touch on the fact that, you know, what we'd really like to see from the next Ghost Recon is for us not to, let's say they gave us an M16, let's not have them go, here's an A4, here's an A3, or here's this version. Give us the M16 and let us change it. Let us do what we want to do to incorporate it into an A1 or an A4 or whatever it is we want. That's the way forward, I think, for, for a new gunsmith. But we will get into that in uh, in another video um, in, in the coming week or two. Um, the LVOAC, I know we had a kind of version of it in Breakpoint, but what, for me it wasn't the same, um, not, not completely. Um, this got asked for so much, honestly, really so much, because it was so popular in Wildlands when it came in, and I must admit, I, I used it a lot. Now, this one, absolutely, along with the spear, this one I would also say was in the top three for definite, asked for so many times, the L119A2, uh, used by the British Special Forces, obviously. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous weapon. It really is. And I must admit, it's got to be up there at the top of my list of weapons that I would want in there too. But you guys keep asking for it. Um, so, you know, it's really important that we push this information towards Ubisoft as much as possible, um, you know, and hope that they listen to exactly what it is we want. Um, and the thing is, I know a lot of people do say, well, they're not going to listen to us. But if we don't do it, then, you know, when we don't get it, there's nothing we can really say, is there? If we try and we do our absolute best and, that you know, even if we got half of it, then this, all of these videos, things like that, they'll all be worth it. Um, but that was that one. So another really popular one, the HK433. Obviously, Hecklon Cox, new, kind of more newer modular assault rifle. It, I think it's an absolute stunner. I love it. I'd love to see that um, in the next game. Um, Glock 19. Um, once again, we, I think I've used an image of a 19, but people were asking for the 17, 18, all sorts of Glock numbers, but it's all obviously about the licensing with Glock, as we've said before. But I've used this because that, you know, they just want a Glock, basically. Uh, the Fox 42, I think this is a really nice weapon. I think it's, I'm not quite, I don't know huge amounts about the Fox 42. I believe it's made by Magpul or they developed it and it's, I think it's still in a concept phase, but it is gorgeous. It would kind of fit quite well in Breakpoint, really, um, for the timeline. And that's obviously another really important thing. Um, the types of weapons could be on the timeline. We don't know. They could end up giving us an ex, um, Ghost Recon game and it's set in 1993. Uh, it could be, you know, they might go backward. I, mean, I don't think they will, um, but they might. Who knows? Um, and in that case, weapons like the the Spear and the, and the Fox 42, well, quite a few on this list would just not fit in the game at all um that's why i don't think they'll do it to be honest but um the c8 so going back to what i said about the m16 people were asking for the um a3 but obviously the one and the two as well were really popular so just give us a c8 and let us do what we want with it that's the best option the ax50 loads of people also asked for the as50 but the ax50 was still more popular um, another really popular Call of Duty uh, sniper rifle, um, deemed one of the best sniper rifles in the world, I believe. Um, it, and it is a really nice looking weapon as well. Let's get that one in there. And though some people might say this is controversial to a certain extent, it, it, you know, I'm only going by comments and votes and things like that. The 417, so Heckler and Cock 417A2, it's only controversial, I think, because people are saying, well, it's kind of been replaced by the g28 and i do understand that but i'm just going by what people wanted i love using the 417 in rainbow six siege to be honest so 
I'd, I'd be happy. I, these are the 20 guns that, you know, on previous um, votes, and I know there'll be people saying, that, well, why is there no, um, you know, AKs? Why is there no this? Like I said, they were there, but they were just outside the top 20. So I'm just showing you these so you don't need to kind of go and vote in the comments again or, or put them in the comments again because we already know that you, you've asked for these. We want to know outside of these, what do you want to see? What weapons do you want to see that have, weren't in Breakpoint? Um, I mean, even some that were in Breakpoint you can include, but we, we want new weapons here, ones that you've not been able to use before or see in a recent Ghost Recon game. Let us know. Like I said, make it a long list if you want. You can do a short list, whatever it is you want to do. Um, just put it down and we'll we'll create a video out of that based around the feedback that you give us and then you know we'll push that Ubisoft's way and... Um, and see if we can get some of these weapons in the next game. Thank you so much for listening to me, um, and I do appreciate it. And we are a community-focused channel, and we will do everything we can to try and get things that you're telling us pushed, um, you know, to, to try and get our voices heard of what we want. Okay, so thank you so much. Really appreciate your support. Take care, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>